the following problem is a system of linear inequalities. Uh, and we need to solve this by graphing both inequalities on the same uh, xy chart and then seeing where they intersect, uh, intersect each other, what they have in common. Um, for this problem, um, we are going to use the xy intercept method to graph the first one. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to put 0 in for y, and then I'm going to put 0 in for x and get two points, and then graph those two points. So I put in 0 for y first to find the x-intercept, and I get 3x greater than 12, which means when you divide by 3, you get x greater than 4. Very simple method of doing it. We like doing it this way because it just seems pretty quick and pretty easy. So put 4 in there, 4 for x in there, so we know the x-intercept is 4, 0. Put 0 in for x to find the y-intercept. And so that 3 times 0 is going to cancel out, so you end up with just 2y greater than 12. So it's very easy to solve, just divide both sides by 2. And that allows us to um, get y greater than 6, so our cutoff point is 6. To solve this now, we need to graph both points, so 4 over on the x-axis and 6 up on the y-axis. Then we're going to connect those dots using a dotted line. It's dotted because it's greater than, not greater than or equal to. Now we got to decide which side to shade on, so we're going to test the point 0 comma 0. When we test the point 0 comma 0, that gets us 0 is greater than 12, which is not true, so the answer for this first inequality, or the solution for the first inequality, is to shade above the line, or to the right of the line, because it's 0, 0 is not true, so we shade on the other side. And notice, I'm just going to shade uh, horizontally. We like to shade different directions for each, each graph so that we can see where they intersect each other. Now I'm going to do the other one. Uh, this one's a little quicker because it's already solved for y. So y less than or equal to a negative 3 halves x plus 2. So my y-intercept is 2. My slope is negative 3 halves. So I'm going to graph the line by um, first graphing the uh, y-intercept. Notice that was a negative 2 there, not a positive. And then I'm going to use the slope, negative 3, uh, 2. So we're going to go down 3 over 2. And then you can go the other direction, up 3 to the left 2 as well. And I'm going to make a couple points just to make sure I can get a nice straight line. And I'll draw a solid line is in because it is an equal to inequality. And then I'm going to test the point 0, 0. So I put 0 in for y and 0 in for x. And that'll get me 0 less than or equal to negative 3 halves times 0, which is 0, plus a negative 2. Well, 0 plus negative 2 um, is not true. That is not a true statement. 0 is not less than negative 2. So we shade on the other side. And if you look, it looks like they have nothing in common, right? And if you can see, I don't have anywhere where those two are intersecting each other, where the two graphs are intersecting each other. So I need to go through and solve for y to see if maybe those two lines are parallel. Because if they are parallel, then the answer is no solution, okay? Because the lines are parallel. Okay, so you could solve that for y. If you did solve for y, you would see that they had the exact same slope. Um, and because they have the exact same slope, then the two lines are parallel, and thus the answer is no solution. So whenever you have par parallel lines and they're going in opposite directions, it's no solution.